Hi guys, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Dee. Today I'm going to show you a quick, simple version of making pancette using vermicelli noodles. So here's what you will need. We're going to have just sauteed some vegetables here. So we have some onions, some peppers, some carrots, and some broccoli. And what my oil is already hot, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss that in there. Just going to turn that up a little bit. I'm going to toss that up. Simmer down a bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and put my four favorite spices. So this is my thyme. Like I said, you can't go wrong with any of this. My seasoning salt. A dash of that. I usually don't measure stuff. I just kind of toss it in for taste. Some uh, garlic powder and some onion powder. Okay, just gonna put that uh, marinate there. Okay, I'll turn that up just a tad slightly. Okay, and for my sauce. I'm using a veggie bouillon, which I already had in my water, okay, and it's already melted, so I'm just going to pour that in, put that over here, turn that up a little bit, and I'm just going to cover this and let this simmer for about five minutes just to get the carrots softer and the broccoli, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the noodles and then how it all comes together. Okay, so now we can see it's just doing its boiling. Now I'm gonna pour the uh, vermicelli noodle inside. And I'm pouring all of it. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that. And this is what it's looking like. So if you find that if, if right now if it's getting too thick, you can go ahead and add a little bit of water to it. Okay, I'm just going to turn the stove down here. And also you can go ahead and add in your chicken, your pork pieces, your tuna, Whatever kind of meat that you would like to put inside, you can go ahead and add that in there as well. So for me, I'm just making this in vegetarian, so I'm not going to add any meat to it. And like I said, this is very, very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead, stir that up a little bit more. And at this point, you're just going to have Close it up and let it simmer. And I am just going to put a tiny bit more water in because I can feel it sticking in the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to put two more water. So, so far I've added two and a half cups of water. And now I'm just going to close it up and let it simmer. And like I said, I'm turning this down a little bit. And then after this, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the finishing product on a plate. Okay? All right, so there you have it. It's pretty much done. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the plate. And again, too, you can add whatever you like to it. You can add chicken, uh, pork, um, fish, you name it. So, yeah, so go ahead and... Uh, for your next meal, try this out. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like it. So thanks again for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. See you in the next video.